Good morning, everyone. This is Michelle with Michelle Okerson Vlog. And it is Tuesday, December the 7th, 2021. Before I get started, like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post a video, as well as comment if you would. I would greatly appreciate it. And also, <clears throat> on my other channel, Sweet Home Heaven, over, uh, like, share, and subscribe over there as well, and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post a video over there. Um, and leave a comment as well. I'm trying to get that channel to grow, both channels to grow. Um, <clears throat> um, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not fretting over it, but, you know, I'm just trying to get in the routine of doing things. But anyway... <clears throat> Uh, did I say the, the date? Yeah, I did. Tuesday, December the 7th. And this is your devotional for the day and your uh, scripture references and pen prayer. I am with you in all that you do, even in the most menial task. I am always aware of you, concerned with every detail of your life. Nothing escapes my notice, not even the number of hairs on your head. I used to joke with the Lord about that one. When I, <clears throat> I was in that thyroid, thyroid storm, that hair was just coming out of my hair by the handfuls. But anyway, I used to joke with him. I don't know how you, I don't know how you keep up with that. All my hairs. Anyway, <clears throat> however, your awareness of my presence falters and flickers as a result of your life experiences. Your life experience. As a result, your life experience feels fragmented. When your focus is broad enough to include me in your thoughts, Juliet, you feel safe and complete. When your perception narrows so that problems or details fill your consciousness, you feel empty and incomplete. Learn to look steadily at me in all your moments and all your circum circumstances. And though the world is unstable and in flux, you can experience continuity, 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 <laughs> Continuity, Michelle, through your uninterrupted awareness of my pre presence. Fix your gaze on what is unseen, even as the visible world parades before your eyes. A little short story. <clears throat> there was a time I wouldn't even leave my house <clears throat> without my Bible. <clears throat> <clears throat> And again, <clears throat> okay, scripture reference, Matthew 10, verses 29 through 31. Are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin, and not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will? But the very head hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you are you are of more value than many sparrows. Amen. <clears throat> 2 Corinthians 4.18. Alrighty. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Amen. Hebrews eleven twenty seven. <clears throat> By faith he forsook forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Yeah. <coughs> Well, get rid of all, I don't know. I guess my lungs are healing. Praise God. I'm, I still haven't went back to smoking. Not even one. It's all, all the glory and honor belongs to him. Trust me. I, I can't take credit for that. <clears throat> okay. This is our prayer for the day. Father, as we draw closer to the date we observe for Christ's birth, May we all pause and reflect on Jesus Christ, our Savior, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and what his birth truly means to us, how our lives would be different without, without him. 
Your love for us is immeasurable. We thank you. All honor, glory, and praise belongs to you. Help us to truly see and empathize with the sacrifice of Jesus Christ's crucifixion and resurrection means as we prepare for the holidays. Help us to see through spiritual eyes his birth, life, and crucifixion and resurrection with an understanding of your great love. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> In this country and throughout this world, may we find unity in you, Lord. May every tear that falls, every pain that exists, every child who has been abused, <clears throat> every person who is alone, all those who have no home, all those who are in prison, every person who is battling an illness, and everyone who is lost, including our adversaries, find peace that find the peace that surpasses understanding in you, Lord. May the Holy <clears throat> May the Holy Spirit comfort and strengthen those who are hurting and may your angels wrap them in your peace in your peaceful presence. Father, thank you. Lord, although things look bad right now in this country and throughout the world, may we find courage in your promises <clears throat> and peace knowing that you have promised to work all things out for our good. Thank you, Lord. There are many afflicted with bad and evil spirits. Guide their paths to find healing in you. No, no, Juliet. May there, may there be justice throughout the world and may every wrong be made right for your glory. Strengthen us throughout this day. Guide our paths and words so that the world sees, so that the world sees you, Lord, in our lives. May your light shine. May your light shine. So brighten us that those who feel hopeless and hurting may see you, Lord, in us. Forgive us, Father. Forgive us, Father, where we fall short of your purpose for our lives and sin against you. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Your child, Michelle, you put your name there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell and leave a comment. I greatly appreciate it. Y'all have a blessed Tuesday. Love y'all. Bye-bye.